This tank is the Lynx 6x6. This is a French Tier 8 light tank. It's a wheeled vehicle. Uh, it's The map is Epic Normandy in the frontline game mode. I'm going to do like 19,000. I'm sorry that there was a little glitch because my ping is going crazy. I'm going to get 19,000 combined damage. It's going to be like 11,500 damage and 7,500 spotting damage. So this is a tree that I knocked down. I did a lot of spotting damage over here. I thought this was going to be the big secret, and I wasn't going to tell anybody about this, and I was going to get amazing spotting damage, and then I was going to say, hey, look at this game. I got 20,000 spotting damage, and nobody knows how I did it. Well, I played this tree many times, hoping to get that, and guess what? The enemy never advances and my allies never advance, so they don't shoot at each other, and I spot all these tanks, or they don't advance, and they can't be spotted. So it ended up only working the first time I tried it. The first time I tried it, I had a good game, because there was a lot of action. The, the enemy was trying to cap C. If they're trying to cap C, that's a great place. But you know that tanks are afraid to cap C. If they're afraid to cap C, passively spotting in that location does not work. So I've been doing a lot of hit and run with this tank. It's nice that I have an ally who just died. I've been practicing jumping to see what I could get away with. I'm really new to these tanks. I'm not a good driver. I, you know, I, I have the premium account and I play with personal reserves. So I go through the lower tiers a little bit faster. I only play tier eight in frontline. So I never played this in a random battle, or maybe I did once just to set the crew to the tank. Um, I didn't optimize the crew until after I had played a lot of games. Uh, now I have it optimized for combat and before it was optimized for spotting. So I removed things that helped spotting and I added all the gun laying drives and stuff like that. And I'm having better games. I'm really enjoying uh, killing people. Um, okay, so I, one of the things I need to do is figure out if the repairs are repairing fast enough. You notice I just sat here. Because I have the high latency, the tank is a little bit difficult to drive. This guy is going to be easy to kill. He thinks he's not going to be, but, you know, he's dead. I had some amazing games. I've been landing on tanks. I'm literally, you know, finding a tank down here, jumping off these cliffs, landing on them, and doing tons of damage to them. I've had a couple great games doing that. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. We're pretty even. Uh, I, I'm way more aggressive with this tank. When I play with a regular light tank, I cannot be aggressive. I have a high chance of taking damage. But with this, I'm going 80 kilometers. I zip around all over the place. And people are not killing me, and they're not stopping me. I do have the enhanced suspension. But look at this. Like, this guy probably won't do anything. I do have to learn. You notice I, I chose the wrong way. I should have gone the other way, but I misjudged his gun. How, however, I did shoot past him. Let's see if he gets a shot in. I judged, you know, you got to decide real quick which way you're going to go, and I went the wrong way. Okay, so obviously I got to go for repairs. Uh, what I do is I check to see if I have a vehicle waiting, and if I do, I'll go in again, especially now that I'm running the second premium wheeled vehicle, which means I have twice the fun. Let's see what we got next. Okay, so I'm not running the other wheeled vehicle, the EBR. Uh, we're going to see some crap gameplay with this. I'm still kind of getting used to this tank. I really haven't taken advantage of how how it's you know it's unique abilities it's a little bit slow i don't know if i'm playing hull down well you know it's frontline so you don't have time to think about am i hull down or not what i know is that people are definitely damaging my tank so you can see we got a sucker over here I, every time i try to advance this vehicle is not good for advancing because it's a little slow it's 30 and it's got weak armor it's it, it's not good for scouting. Um, I I had the Binox on it because it's the only... Because I didn't want to pay for the suspension is the reason why. Uh, and the Binox don't take enough weight to make a difference. 
Uh, but otherwise, you know, I want to get rid of those Binox. I tried to get a shot on that guy, but I was unable to, and I just gave up instead of trying. Oh, look at that. See, that I hate missing, but that's one of the issues I got to deal with. I think I missed too often. It wasn't like that in the old days. Just so you know, you don't have to zoom in all the way. You only have to zoom in enough that your shot's going to land within that circle. So at this point, I have like a 75 to 80% chance I'm going to hit the vehicle. And he's got weak armor. And perhaps I waited too long. I probably could have shot sooner. Got 2,000 damage, 1,700 spotting damage. I'm up to sergeant. To get general, my advice, reset cap and cap. The problem with capping is that your al if I'm very aggressive, I'm always the first one on the cap, and my allies will just sit there and watch me die. Uh, there's really nothing I can do. You know, you could sit and argue with them all day long and plan with them and give them advice, and they just won't do it. But they're adverse to capping, and it's sad. Um, the other issue with getting general is uh, don't die. The, you know, when you die, you're not going to forget. Actually, I, I became general, I think, when I died. <laughs> Um, I think what happened was I spawned in the game and then I became general or something. So that actually can happen. But the time you sit in the garage, those minutes ticking by prevents you from advancing. Now, obviously, I'm showing him my rear armor, It's and I'm making it worse. I'm not making it any better. When you're in this bad situation, point your gun over the corner of the tank. Um, I tried to correct the angle, but, you know, I'm not used to playing this particular tank, so the, the correction was not going to work. We've got the Pantera, the P-44, I'm up to 2,200 damage, 2,800 spotting damage. I chose a different flank probably because I thought that we didn't need people on the D flank, and I probably saw a lot of red dots. Um... This is a cool tank. You can see that I'm not using premium rounds. I'm using regular rounds. I think it's 212 penetration. I don't I don't use premium rounds. I don't play with the premium tanks. I will one day. Once I level through all of my tier 8 tanks, the last one I have to do is the, the British light tank, uh, the LMTV or whatever it's called. I've only... I, you know, I'm going to have a couple you know, a couple, maybe a week or two of leveling up tanks. After I do that, I'm only going to play premium tanks like the Progetto and the Scorpion, and I'm only going to use premium rounds, and I'm going to have killer games. If you watch my videos, you'll see that I have great games with crappy tanks. And once I start playing the good tanks, I'm going to get uh, general every time. You see, I know what's going on. I'm not stupid. I mean, the guy might end up killing me, but I didn't... I. I didn't assume he wasn't going to come. You know, he's upside down, but it's not going to help me here, unfortunately. And people say, oh, well, you're, you're over. You, say, you know, who cares? It's just, just a game. It's just a game. Get over it. I want action. I, I cannot sit and wait for the enemy. I want action. If you want to see action, you watch my videos. If you want to see people sitting in the back camping, don't watch my videos. Okay, now this is really cool. Watch what's going to happen over here. Um, I've been playing this position somewhat, and I'm getting really good games playing here. Let's see how much of my damage goes up. I have no idea how much it's going to go up. I'm at 3,000 damage right now. Basically... When the enemy caps E and they're going to go into D, they're going to go over that ridge. They're very predictable. If they try to go to the repair facility, I'm going to hit them. And I can get up onto this train if I want to cross over. You can see I can ride over it. I'm going to ride over it later. But I'm going to do a lot of damage from this position. I'm going to be somewhat spotted. I'm going to have open shots. This is a great position. You don't know what sniping is. That's not what sniping position is. You don't understand the mechanics of the game. You have a 49% win rate. That tank is not a tank suitable for sniping. That tank's not for spotting.
Okay, so I missed that shot. But you can see that the that the tanks are vulnerable and you're hitting the side armor. So you don't have to use premium rounds. You'll notice that I do not have premium rounds. I've got the lower penetration rounds. And I don't think this is the highest penetrating gun. I believe that there's a gun that penetrates a lot more that I'm really looking forward to getting. You get a higher penetrating gun, you're going to have easy games and do tons of damage. Absolute fact. Uh, those tanks with the spaced armor, you're not supposed to use uh, high explosive rounds, but I actually have really, if I get a lot of effective gameplay using high explosive rounds against those super conquerors or whatever tanks they are. I think that there's actually three tanks. I, have, I flubbed so many shots. If I'm rolling back, that means you, that's my A game. Somebody smoked me. When you smoke people, you get extra EXP, so it's a good thing to use. However, my experience is that it's rare to get EXP from smoking tanks. I smoke tanks all the time and pay attention, and you, you get lucky if you get EXP from smoking. Same with recon. Doesn't happen that often. You know, maybe they'll do ranked battles or clan wars, and I'll really enjoy playing frontline. But, you know, I need to have a good team because I do spotting. And if you don't have a good team and you're a good spotter, you're just wasting your time. They just, yeah, they, your allies just won't shoot at the tanks. And then you'll get a low win rate, and everyone says you're a bad player. You're a tomato. Okay, so you notice that the enemy is failing to advance. They thought they were going to rush into D, and they didn't. I wasn't monitoring the time, but I believe I've increased by 1,500 damage and 1,200 spotting damage. Not amazing, but we're preventing them, not me, but obviously me. We're preventing the enemy from advancing into D. Oh, it looks like they just capped D. Obviously, the further away you are, you do want to zoom in more with the sniper mode. You're welcome. You're welcome. I was the one who sent the request to Wargaming because before you had a 16 time zoom with the sniper. And one day I said, you know what? The 16 time zoom is not good enough. At long range, it doesn't work. And I believe it might have been once Grand Battles came around. Uh, I know it was on Siegfried line when I was like, this is not good enough. And, and I said they should fix it and they increased it to 25 times zoom. So you're not going to see the 25 times zoom in older replays with anybody. You're welcome. I'm up to 5,000 damage. I've probably made 50 suggestions that have made it into the game. And I'd say 20 or 30 bug reports that they fixed that I reported. So another suggestion I made is that when you hover on a tank, it shows you the distance, says 446 meters. In the old game, if you hovered off, it would disappear. And I said, you shouldn't do that. And they changed it. So now it fades away when you hover off. That was another suggestion I made. They made, put so many of my suggestions in the game. And they always did it immediately. They always did it like, Two weeks after I made the suggestion. Never had to wait a long time. Forty nine hundred damage. So the enemy is still being held back. They're not advancing. And remember, from this spot, you can also cover and reach. You see that the the bridge over there entering the town is within my yellow circle. So you can cover that from this position. Let's see how it looks over here. You can cover anyone who's trying to go into two. You're going to find a lot of scorpions like to be up on that ridge. When you got the recon, I use recon right away. And the reason why is because I learned you're often going to die before you get to use your combat reserve. And you, you have to wait 
like 200 seconds before you can use it again. So you're better off using it right away so that your second opportunity to use it is also going to be possible before you die. You want to be able to, it's like damage per minute. You want to use your combat reserves as many times per minute. That was a shot when I was talking earlier. Oh, there might be three tanks there where a tank disappeared and I was trying to shoot at him and I couldn't hit the tank behind him because of the tank in front of him died or something like that. Nice. 6,300 damage, 4,600 spot, and I am captain. So if you see that it, there's a APCR in yellow, that means it's a gold round. If it says APCR in gray, that's the standard round. The more you know. Boom, boom, boom. This, this tank has a moderate gun. I don't think I have the highest gun on it. But moderate, above average gun with regular rounds. You see, look at what happened. I've only got five rounds left. I'm going to run out of ammunition. So some of the shots that... I was aware that I was about to run out of rounds, and I had to come up with a plan. And I believe my plan was to head forward. This might be the point where I cross over the train. And I'm going to head for the repair facility to get more rounds. Up to 6,300 damage, 4,600 spotting. And I think I'm going to head south after this. The enemy failed to advance. So today was the first day of Frontline for this month. And what happens on the first few days is that the players don't remember how to play or you got new players playing so they don't know the proper way to play so they don't cap had so many games today where the enemy didn't even cap and my team didn't cap so many so we're going to hit these stat patterns we've got a, a bat chat and the progetto i believe that there's another tank which is is the emil type tank Or it looks like a Lanson. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go on top of him. Let's see if I succeed. And I noticed that there was an artillery strike, which I was concerned about, and he died. So I was not unable to jump onto him. Let's see how fast before I use my recon. I am concerned probably about moving into safety first before I use the recon. And I believe I'm going to drop the recon out in the field there. I'm waiting too long to use the recon. I should have used it a lot sooner. Or maybe I've just forgotten. Oop. I am captain. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're kind of even on this flank. The M41, I think he's going to do something really dumb. So a lot of players with fast tanks, they want to get revenge. So I believe that's what he's going to do. He might actually succeed. He's going to come back looking for me. I think that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to flub it. I'm going to drive wrong. I, I'm going to see him coming, but I'm going to misgauge my gun. And if that happens, he's probably a, an above average player because... Uh, usually I succeed in doing what I need to do, but I think he's going to get up on me. I'm going to flub it for some reason. So I get my shot, and I saw him come, and I knew he was going to come. I, I predicted he was going to come, but I forgot to reverse. When you're being attacked, you want to increase your distance from an attacker when you have no turret. So you have to reverse, and you want to head towards something to your back so he can't get behind you, or you head towards an object so that if he tries to get behind you doing a circle, he has to make a larger circle. So you notice I'm starting to reverse. Oh, that was that the one that I flubbed? I got to major. My allies are helping me out here. And he's out of the game. It must have been a different battle where I flubbed it. Basically what happened is uh, I anticipated where he was going to go, but he got a little bit to the side of me, and because of my ping time and all this nonsense, uh, my gun angle was just enough wrong that uh, I could not shoot his tank. He pinned my gun. 
Okay, what he's doing, that player, is completely wrong. He's turning his hull in one direction, and his gun is going in the other direction. So what's happening is his gun is never going to turn around. That's a noob mistake. Rewind the video and see what I mean. You don't turn the gun and the turret in opposite directions. You have to turn them always in the same direction, and then you get the faster speed. Notice that I stop a few seconds before I'm reloaded, and that's the time that I use to aim in. You don't start aiming once you're reloaded. You do it before. Look at that 629. I believe that was a regular round. I'm not sure. Using the auto aim. So you notice that I'm turning my tank. Sometimes I do that because it increases the accuracy of the auto aim when the enemy is moving. And obviously you're going to wait until he's moving directly towards you before you fire. I've almost made it to general. 9,489 damage. Sixty five hundred spotting damage. So I flub that and I don't have any high explosive rounds. If you hit him with an HE round, you're gonna do around two hundred thirty damage. He I think he's gonna do something really dumb. He's gonna show me his side armor, I believe. Look at that. I did six eighteen damage to him. Now, if you're turning around, you want to back up also so he can't get behind you. Let's see if I remember to do it. Looks like I didn't. Normally, I would use the fuel consumable or the oil consumable so I spin around faster. But in this case, I'm not using it. Oh, that was the one where the guy got behind me and killed me. Okay, I am major. Now, look at that. We've got a minute and a half left. This might have been the one where I didn't make it to general, but I remember thinking, I've only got four seconds left. Am I going to get it? I need one more shot. Am I going to make it? I don't know. I think I'm going to flub it. You see what I mean? When I came around the corner, I thought, oh, these, both of these tanks are going to be out in the open, but they weren't. Got one. Missed. I changed the gun laying drive and the V-stab, so I'm going to be more accurate. And then look at that sloppy jump, frontal armor, missed. See what I mean? Should have gone into sniper mode. Effed it up again. Got the general. Wrong tank. Switch back. Enemy got him. Go into sniper to hit that engine. So if you watch my video on uh, setting the engine on fire, it's best to do it from the sniper mode. You want to hit in the on the mid axle on the back side with an HE round or a high penetrating round that does the highest amount of alpha damage. What other people say about using low alpha damage is incorrect. I tested it, it's incorrect. The low alpha damage doesn't work because while you're reloading, he's repairing his engine. That's the reason why the low alpha damage technique does not work. You need enough alpha damage to, to, to knock his engine uh, down to zero. You notice what I'm doing here. He's going to expect, he, if he's a good player, he sees me coming. And he's going to expect me to go that way, so I'm not going that way. I don't know if I did the right thing. Let's go back and look. Let's go back and look and see if I did. Let's see if I outsmarted him. I believe it was, was it 11,500 damage and 7,500 7,500 spot damage. Whatever I said at the beginning of the game is what it was. Wow, amazing graphics. Okay, so this was a bug that was in the game a long time ago. And they fixed it, and it affected the spotting. It made invisible tanks in the game. 
and it was a they told me it was a caching bug. It was one of the bugs that I reported, and I actually made a video where you see me ram a tank to death and it was invisible and I'm pushing a dead tank and then all of a sudden the dead tank appears. Nobody believed me until I proved it with that video. Okay. Did I outsmart him? It looks like he I don't know. I, I don't think I outsmarted him. Maybe he saw me coming. His gun was pointed at a relatively good angle for, for the fact that I was coming. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments and you want to tell me about how I am lying and you don't believe me, uh, please feel free to do so.